What's up guys, Nick here with Pretty Much Canada. I got Tanner here from Dr uh, Driftwood Lake Reviews. Today we're gonna be having some fun with some angle grinders. We just got this old pig like a month and a half ago, maybe. And what they were using it for was they went out on the highway and used it for road signs. They carried, you know, the big caution signs and stop signs or whatever. So we work at a lumber yard and this setup doesn't work for us, like not even a little bit. So we gotta hack a few things off of this bad boy and have some fun with it, I guess, or attempt to have some fun. But we're, we're going to compare angle grinders quick. <laughs> I think you got me beat. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen, safety first. So we're going to get to it and grind away as much as we can. Like Tanner said, the daily grind. Mm -hmm. Keep watching. We'll we'll show you kind of as we're doing it what we're doing. Yep. Got some stuff to cut off and stay tuned. But still, even for that, I know. I can see this can get more known too. It'll hardly make it more. That thing is heavy and it's on a fucking trigger. Yeah. <laughs> get the button for your angle grinder. Don't get the trigger. It'll give you a carpal tunnel. Back to it. All right, guys, just a quick break in the action. I got Tanner here. He's going to show some of you guys that don't know how to change a worn out disc on an angle grinder. So as you see, we've got a little tool here. We've got two little bars on it. I want to line those up in here. If yours is set up the same, might not be. Some might have that type tool. Some might have just a regular old nut on it. Some are, there's different ones, but this is, but yeah. Pretty much you just. Pretty much Canada. Yeah. <laughs> You just pull that off, set that aside, pull off your old worn out disc, it's a piece of junk, throw it on the truck. You slap that in there. Now does that fit just directly on there or is there how to, that's, that's, yep, nope. this fits right in. Not much to it. Then you just take this piece, you give her a nice little twist on here. Make sure to push down the button. On every one of these, there's typically a button which helps lock it in place so that you can tighten it to remove it or to add on a new one. And then, once you've hand tightened it a little bit, just grab her and you torque her on down. Make sure she's tight. Give, give her a good test spin to make sure she ain't going to fling off there. And yep. This is the product. Okay, so we got all these stake pockets. Well, not stake pockets, but old welds to try to show you guys. Yeah, well, that one's just about gone. That's what it looks like cleaned up. They had a big old rack on the back of this thing to hold signs and all their equipment they needed to do their jobs. Actually, you guys gotta see this. I had a load earlier today and I hit rubbed up against a pine tree. Just barely touched it and the thing took a shit right on a truck. Happens every time I park my truck at home. Yeah. I gotta start trimming the tree. Yeah, exactly. Or if you hit enough times, it trims itself. All right. So that was a big bulgy glob of nasty weld, and we just grind them down best we can so that we don't got to trip or snag or do anything on them. Yeah. We also have new slots right in here. You might get a better view from the back here. And put those in. Those are all custom. We're gonna have to put some like right in here somewhere so that we can strap here. I haven't decided 
These have got to come off. Those two bars right there with the netting, metal netting, those have got to come off. It just interferes with the headache rack. It's hard to put stuff up against it, plywood, because it sticks out. But as of right now, me and Tanner are still just grinding away. I'm going to pause the video for now, and we'll get back into it when we get into some juicy action. All right, guys. I'm going to try to take this off really quick. I'm going to use Tanner's angle grinder because it's a hell of a lot lighter and it seems like it does a hell of a lot better job. He says it's probably because of the operator. I think he's probably right. Well, it doesn't matter what size it is if you know how to use it, right? There we go. <laughs> so let's get this hum dumber hacked off of here. And... <laughs> well, let's go at her. The, the more you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bend it on off there, he man. Hey. Yeah, bend her off. Just grab her there and I give go. her. Well, I mean, you might as well try. You're on video. Show your strength. I don't want to make fun of me. <laughs> you think that will? I just give her a tug and it fucking. Oh yeah, look at you. You're gonna bend that. Watch Shit, him bend guys. it right off. I'm strong. <laughs> it's gonna just fucking snap and I'm gonna oh. flying right on top. Yep. Oh, give her a good old one, too. You get your big ass up here, man. You got the fucking scrawny guy. Well, my fat ass can't fit up there right now. You're taking my ladder away. <laughs> you guys like our ghetto tripod? Yeah, that's Where'd what we're taking it? our video yeah. off of. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to go over. No? I don't think so. Want me to give her a try? Yeah. Here goes. Hey man. So you guys know those incidences where you like, yep, I was just gonna say where you freaking go and try something as hard as you can and then go and get your dad and then he comes out and does it right on the first try and then looks at you like you're a dumbass. Just call me daddy. Call him daddy and call me a dumbass. Well, that was easy peasy. That's why I said I don't know why he's got the fucking bean pole up there, but you get fucking the Hulk up there, and there she goes. Yep. Now we're going to grind down them brackets that are left and take them two bars, hopefully, that are off behind Tanner, and we'll let you guys see how that goes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got sick of grinding, so we moved on to one of our other tasks. We're just tightening on the lugs for this here forklift that's been sitting outside for a couple days now. She had three flats, and well, you can't really run this lift unless it's got three flats. So Tanner's tightening them up, and we're gonna dust the old girl off and see if she'll start. And if she will, then she's going to bed for the weekend. Dusting her off, that's gonna be a bit of a. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get the dust off of her. No, not this old coat, <laughs> or coot, I should say. Everything about this lift is custom. Yeah, like my window. <laughs> works. If yeah. it's stupid, if no, if it looks stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Here's my door handle. And there's our, there's our door handle right there. <laughs> like I said, customs. Not West Coast though. Midwest customs. Yeah. But anyways, guys, this I think this is where we're gonna end it. We're gonna pull this Billy Goat into the garage and get her out of the snow because I don't know if you can tell really, but it is again snowing. Not hard, but nothing but snow. Nothing but snow. Yeah. Camera never does it justice, guys. But anyways. I'm Nick, this is Tanner, like, share, subscribe, check him out on his channel, Driftwood Lake Reviews. You guys have a good weekend, we'll holler at you later, bye.